<laughs> yeah, buddy. Big day today. Big day today. We're adding a team member, which is always exciting. Right. It's not your typical team member. He's a hard great worker. Team member. Special guy. He's, He's built to work. His That's all he does is work. His name is Larry. He goes hard. So we got a couple hours. We're going to go pick him up, get to know him a little bit. I like that. You guys will, I think, will really enjoy meeting Larry, having Larry around. Larry's going to the long haul. Larry's yeah. going to do good stuff for us. Right. Good stuff. Well, let's get out of here and make this happen, boys. Yo. We've made it to Larry's hometown, but he's gonna be moving back to uh, Saginaw with us. <laughs> I can't wait to meet him, man. I'm so excited, so excited. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. Rick, anything else you have to say to Larry before uh, we get here? Man, you know, Larry, it was just time for a career change for him. So, you know, uh, he was uh, working at a, a certain place and uh, he's coming home to where he wants to be. He's gonna live a good life. I'm up excited. here at the Blog Hunt headquarters, so. Perfect. He's uh. He's a good boy. I just seen him. He's out there looking excited, so it's time to go get Larry. Our boy, dude. I can't believe our boy is just just right here, dude. Check out this guy. Larry. <laughs> one, one, two, three. Welcome to Larry the Lariat, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at Woo. this puppy. Woo. Man, that is a unit. So we've been talking lately about getting a new truck and there's nothing wrong with the ox the ox does a great job for what we've been doing but you know she does have 115,000 on her and uh you know that uh, that body style chevy fitting four dudes in it driving 19 hours one way is not the most comfortable thing so we test drove some new trucks and uh you know it all came down to the ford being the best fit for us so this truck here man it uh, basically has every option we wanted and uh, basically none that we didn't. So right. it just came down to, to be in the right truck for us. So it was super hard to find one, man. Yeah, and the, th and the thing is, you know, you might think it's silly to replace the ox because it's been doing a good job. But the thing is, we drive across the country pretty regularly. When you're towing a 53 foot wedge, if something goes wrong, you're really screwed. So we just need absolute ultimate dependability you know no questions asked so yeah so. brand new unit zero miles warranty just 100 percent good to go no questions you know is it a lot of money yes it's a stressful yes but i'm excited about it we'll never right. have to worry about the truck for a long time now yeah so 2020 f350 c67 power stroke boom Marriott crew cab good options she's already got the factory hitch in the back and uh as a little treat to the ox uh you know for being a good girl for so long uh she's getting hauled back on the goosey so right. it's gonna be a a nice treat for the ox and uh basically celebration of all the work that it's done so a little relaxer for her. figured it was a good way to kind of send her out right 100 percent, man we gotta test this unit out right off the lot it needs 15,000 pounds on it. Break her in right. I don't know about that. So if everybody's <laughs> out there asking, why didn't you get the Chevy? The Chevy's new this year. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Uh, we had two uh, friends of ours bring both trucks over so we could look at them prior. And turns out the Ford was just more comfortable on the interior. So a uh, huge thanks to our friend Mike for bringing us the Ford out. We would have loved to get it from his dealer, but this one was locked here for some reason, unfortunately. So we didn't make that work. But we chose the Ford based on comfort only. I'm sure the powertrains are basically both excellent. I think transmission's basically the same. You right. know, both have proven engines now, but these do have a ton of power. So this is gonna be a lot more power than uh, than the Ox. It's a thousand fifty pound feet of torque. It's sixteen hundred RPM. Just absolute monster. So when we get into the mountains and stuff, we should have no problem maintaining some speeds, which at times with the Ox was was tough. I mean, right. she was on the edge power-wise sometimes, so. Cool. Well, 
it's time to go uh, hand him a big old check and get the hell out of here with Larry, the Lariat. Real excited, man. What a clean unit. A little longer than a few minutes later. <sighs> wow. It's not often I reach this level of excitement about something, but this is such a huge deal. I love this truck. <laughs> I love this truck. It's an overall absolutely uh, badass truck. So we were talking about trying to find a truck that would work out perfect for us. The level of options on this truck are exactly to a T what we wanted. Yeah, I mean, couldn't really ask for anything else. And I think we discussed it earlier, you know. It was nearly impossible to find a truck that didn't have that sunroof that would have interfered with your dome. To find one with everything else that is so good on this Mind blowing. Absolutely right mind blowing. This thing is absolutely decked out. It's the ultimate package. Super nice interior. Heated and cooled seats. Heated in the back. Let's check it out. Yeah, I mean, the upfitter switches, just all the good stuff, man. 400, it's got like a 400 amp alternator. So, you know, when Leo wants to put his big subs in, power. Yeah, dude, 418s in the back, dude. Actually, need to I think it's thing. got the upgraded sound system. I forget what it is, but. The Bang and Halu for whatever the yeah, hell. Yeah, it's got a good sound system in it already. I mean, it's perforated seats it's got the cooled i mean like doug was talking about it's got the upfitter switches up here so when we go hard on the baja designs light bars we can go wild on that all the touchscreen stuff heated and cooled front heated rear it's got an auxiliary heater so in the winter it'll yep. keep our bodies warm immediately right when we start it up and i mean there's some stuff back here too so one of the issues with the ox it seems trivial but it wasn't there was no power outlet in the back seat so when leo's sitting in the back we're driving cross country and he's editing videos like you'd have to run a cord all the way up front to power the laptop. So now we got power Boom. back here. We got vents back here, which we didn't have in the ox. We got heat back here. Just lots of space. Nice flat floor for a ton of storage. Yeah, and three oh, inches man. of additional leg room this direction, which is awesome. And I noticed when I flipped this up, just to put the uh, things in here, it's got like this whole storage unit out back, which we didn't have in the ox. And I swear it's bigger than what the ox had under the seats. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of space here, man. Just gonna be an excellent truck for us. So, the ox has been great, lots of good memories made with the ox, but it was it was time. So she's gonna she's gonna go on the market, unfortunately. We can't afford to just keep two of these things around. But uh, be doing lots of cool things with this one very soon. So. Super happy. And it's got all the stuff in the bed, like everything we wanted. I don't wanna keep saying it, but it was very, yeah, I mean, Super hard. Uh, sort of a weird package to find a truck that was this high a trim level with all the, you know, nice amenities on the inside that you want for driving cross country all the time and not have the moon and have all the towing stuff set up and the bed liner basically must have stuff for what we're going to do with it. Like, we don't need to do anything with this. It's just ready to rip. So. Well, at this point, I think it's probably time to get in this thing and take it for a little rip. Yelp, 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 yelp. First startup of your new truck. <laughs> Push button start. Check this out. Oh, Ooh, baby. I like that. Another thing I really love. So, I mean, this trailer backup assist. I mean, we're not going to use that. We can back up trailers. But what comes with that is a camera package that's just super good. You got the 360 camera. And now we have a camera where we can see the bed to hook up a gooseneck, which is huge. You know, a lot of times I'm by myself hooking up a trailer. You know, you're in and out of the truck four times trying to, you know, get it lined up right now. You can just see everything. It's going to be glorious. And what's even more glorious is now, and I turned this thing off auto. Check this out. There we go. Now I have this to cool my giant fupa, which the ox did not have. Listen to this. Ready? Oh, no. Oh. I was going to leave that on there for at least 60,000 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Tough hold, break. Hold the advertisement out, too, while you're at it, man. You know, you know, you know. Listening. Oh. Heck yeah. Ooh, inductive charger. That's cool. Oh, nice. How many miles this thing got? That's very nice. Like 90, yeah, 95. Wow. So she's been on a couple test drives. You know, you'll have that. Yeah, 95 miles. It could have, I think it went from the dealer in Howell to here as yeah. well. So. Man. Beautiful That's unit. Just, so excited, man. My gosh. Boom. Whew. Whew. So yeah, we could have gotten the Platinum or the Limited or the King Ranch, but the options are actually no better except for specific trim in the Limited and massaging seats, which turns out not worth $15,000. Yeah. Don't really need to go to sleep driving down the road. So, oh, this is the unit, man. This is the unit. 
Well, let's take her for her first rip, bud. All right. Now there is a feature you can use, that 360 that camera. Is, yeah. Nick's Raptor has that. And I swear it's even improved since his Raptor. Like that is so cool looking. The camera setup for moving trailers around is gonna be clutch. So yeah, just to reiterate, this wasn't so much a Ford versus Chevy thing because we're diehard. Obviously we had a Chevy, we wanna try out the Ford and the interior quality and the new stuff is just better. So in our opinion. Doug's Ford for life. I mean, that's big facts. If you look historically <laughs> at the past five years, he's taken three people who drove different brand vehicles, turned them into Ford people. I don't know how he did it. It's a big feat, uh, but he did it. I mean, I got a Ford because of Doug. Driving what I drive, man. Just driving what I drive. I think it was more the twin turbo V6 that got me. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's a good unit. Rick, how do you feel about that? Wow, this, I am. It's already so good. <laughs> it's so good. Honestly, for a one-ton truck, it already rides really well. Like the truck we test drove was an F-250, similar, right? But I expected the 350 to be a lot stiffer, and honestly, it feels pretty darn good. It's very comfy. Detroit roads aren't historically the best roads, so. <laughs> good testing good, good place to try all the new suspension. Well, boys, as expected, she runs great, drives great. And as a uh, means of getting even more ridiculous, we brought the old gooseneck down here. And we're gonna throw the ox on the goose and then tow the ox back home. Really break this thing in right. Is it ridiculous? Yeah, but you know, that's why it's cool. It's sort of ironic. World headquarters of GM and we're buying a Ford. Tough break. Hey, what you gonna do, brother? It was the right move. It's the right truck for the right people. Yo. First time towing a lot of weight with this bad boy and she's doing a good job already. Yeah, first gear in these transmissions is ultra low. So that much torque combined with that low gear in this 10 speed is gonna be a dream to pull with, I think. Take a left. Not exactly where you thought we were going to be. Not yet, not yet, but our boy Nick Seuss couldn't go with us on this trip this morning. He's going to be very excited about this truck, so we had to make a little detour, let him see it. So it was supposed to be a surprise. Unfortunately, things happened last night, surprise got ruined, tough break, but... Alcohol had a factor in that shock, <laughs> I would have thought. <laughs> Someone time. was poisoned by Mike Reed again. Anyway. Every time. So. Oh, look at there's the man himself, dude. Grandpa Tony, dude. Grandpa hey. Tony. <laughs> Grandpa Tony. <laughs> How you doing, brother? What's up, dog? Dude, you guys are freaking loco, dude. <laughs> Let's just throw a dually with a dually <laughs> for funsies, huh? You gotta test her out, man. See Holy how she does. Holy moly, dude. Uh, Facts. Rick and Rick, dude. Wendy's, huh? Real cool. You know, DC. Holy moly. Freaking Leo here, dude. He's been giving it to me in the face for a long time, dude. Tell him, yeah, we got a lariat, dude. Cloth teeth green. <laughs> Holy moly. No LED lights, turns out. You got LED lights. Here's here's what we don't have. Nothing. It's all there. Holy it's all there. snakes, dude. Hop in there, buddy. You're going to like what you see. Oh, my. Laptop? It came with a laptop? 
Yeah. Built in. Already got the friggin' Doug Musk in here, dude. I like that. <laughs> oh, Full of frickin' Leo no trash way. already, dude. Unbelievable. Man, so your head fit? Yeah, great. It did, great. Actually, yeah. Perfect. Man, what a freaking beaut. I don't think there's a tougher truck on the market other than that one sitting there. And guess what? We have yeah, both. Durango. Oh, <laughs> that Durango's nice, man. Man, uh, toad awesome. Let me tell you, this is another level. Another it's level. another planet of towing performance. It <sighs> is, I can't explain how good it is. The power is like infinite. You're just, I mean, it's probably 13,000 pounds. We're just in 10th gear, ripping down the highway. You hit a hill, doesn't downshift, doesn't care. just drives up the hill. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It works way beyond my expectations. What a it's bad awesome. ass truck. Look how tough this thing is. It's and super tough. metallic too. As Rick would call it, black agate. Black agate. Uh, oh, I think the word's actually agate. <laughs> I'm not going to be the judge of what it is or isn't called. <laughs> It's Larry, man. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. That's his name. Larry the Lariat, dude. That's and what we're the calling it. Ones too. That's how you know you made it, dude. They went hard, dude, on the LTXs. But yeah, we're calling it Larry. Larry the Lariat. Larry the <laughs> Lariat, dude. Look at the poor ox, dude. Oh, oh my ox god. Ox is. Need some attention, you know. The ox is burning right. He's just chilling up there, dude. <laughs> Kelly's have seen better days. The Kelly's are still. Maybe we'll just not too. highlight the negativities of the ox on video. <laughs> Anyway, it's a good Look unit. Look at how tough that thing is. That's a real deal, holy field, dude. It's a tough truck, man. It is, it's gonna transform road trips. Like, driving it is so easy, even with weight. It's it's really incredible. Sit in the back real quick. Dude, I'm proud of you guys, dude. Check this out, Nick. You guys have really done a great job. Look at, even the gas thing is a lot The wider. gas thing, because it has a def the right there instead of like a peasant through your hood? Frick. Yeah. See how much leg room there is in there, it's insane. Yep, that's where it's gonna be right there. <laughs> right? <laughs> Overall, pretty epic. It's a big unit. This is, dude, this is, yep. She's tipped on. She's tipped on. Good. They're gonna kiss there for a second. That was weird. <laughs> All right, we'll find out. You guys gonna kiss? Uh, <laughs> oh okay. my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, so we have one more uh, event that's gonna happen today. That's going to allow a nice clickbait title, which I'm pretty excited about. Just going to say it because I'm just whatever. It's whatever. You're going to jump the truck? Yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad. Okay. No. It's maybe bad, but it's not that bad. I mean, we got the ox. We got Larry. Oh my know. God, dude. Just the final oh battle of gosh. superiority. <laughs> Just gotta do a tug of war. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude. I knew immediately. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's gonna be okay. I don't know, okay. dude. Isn't there a braking period on this truck? <laughs> we, yeah, it was well. 91 miles and then we hooked 13,000 to her. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Well, that's gonna happen. She's good to go. Can we do it right here? Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Anything you like to say about Twisted House of Glass while we're here, just getting this free promo? You know, it's the best shop in town, Got it. in the state, maybe in the country. I looked it up. See this shop here? Best yeah. shop in the state, in the town, and in the country. Also looked it up. Okay. Um, that's it. Got it. Good. Well, on to, uh, we're actually going to go back to on, the roots. On to our next adventure, I think, yeah. We're headed to the old uh, homestead, the battlegrounds. Uh, unload some stuff and uh, see what happens. You can do it in the dirt? Yeah. Probably be a great idea. We're not looking at too crazy. You know, it's a little crazy. First time at the battlegrounds with Larry. We're here. It's time to uh, unload the ox for the last time off this unit. And just see who can out tow who. Phone Rick, what do you think? Some interesting things are about to happen. I'm glad to be a part of them. Who's gonna win is the question. I mean, I know who I think is gonna win. I'm gonna keep that to myself to not jeopardize my hope. Just Tough say price. who's gonna win, dude. That's what this is for. Larry showed up here to do work. Larry shows up everywhere to do work. He showed up to win, too. Who's gonna do work? Yeah, Larry's gonna do work. And the ox is gonna go along for another ride behind Larry. This time hooked to a strap. 
Tough break. <laughs> Doug, obviously you're on team Ford. Are we still there? I mean, you know, who's to say here? I don't actually know which truck is heavier. That's is all that matters. All probably. that's the, all that a tow off's ever gonna come down to. So, you know, the ox has got a bunch of stuff in the back of it, which we're not gonna unload because it's way too hot. So, fact. You know, which one weighs more? We'll see. I think Larry's gonna take it. I think Larry's got the girth, but yeah, I think Larry's probably heavier too. We're here on the ox. We've so, seen it before. Yeah, I do realize that Rick already put in his vote for Larry to win the tug of war, but we do need a driver for the ox. And uh, unfortunately, there's only three of us here, so a tough break. If you've seen my camera skills, you'll understand why I'm driving. I think it's like a Blair Witch effect. I think that movie was popular, so. But having said that, we're gonna tug of war, and then we're gonna drag race these bad bitches. I have to say, I think a drag race could go to the ox, but who's to say? We're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, very soon. Got a cameo from Steve Butterfield. All right, they're gonna tighten them up. Steve's gonna count down. One, two, three, go! Oh, the ox is burning. The ox is spinning them. I think Larry's in traction control mode. Wow, it's tight. I think we sort of expected this to happen. Got it! Wow. So I think Larry's traction control was an issue. It's off. It's off, huh? Larry's just got some excellent grip then. Very light on the throttle, trying not to spin. So, oh, got yeah, it. Traction control's off, and I basically was just tipping in and out of the throttle, trying to get it to creep a little bit. The ox was full lighting up. <laughs> we can do it again. I mean, give it all the power. It's usually not the strategy here, but. Yeah, you're not wrong. Maybe pull ahead like 20 feet, and okay, we'll do it again. Good. All right, round two. Here we go. Another stalemate. Who's to say? One, two, three, go. That strap stretching. Oh. Got some axle hop on a lot of Larry. All right, I think we're good. Got it! Got it! <laughs> Listen to that freaking turbo chooching over there on the ox. Overall, I think one of the scarier things was the uh, axle hop yeah. on Larry, but... These holes were dug with the power of a thousand suns. Dang, man. The ground is hard, but overall, not a real surprising <laughs> result. Pretty much every time we've uh, done pull-offs out here in the dirt with anything that's nearly evenly matched, they just dig holes and don't move, so. Fact. You know, what did that tell us? Absolutely nothing. Was it sort of fun? Yeah, sure. So I think it's down to the drag race to determine superiority. All right, yep, I'd say we move on. All right, Rick, the ox did represent there. Yeah, no, ox showed up to play. I'm. Uh... Pretty impressed. She didn't budge. No. Two heavy trucks, one slippery surface. That's gonna happen, but we're gonna go to a drag race. Oh, okay, got ready it. Ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready for it. Got it. Boy, it's been a while since we've seen a drag race from the battlegrounds. 2020 F350 versus 2015 Chevy. Ooh. Wow, dead heat, Ox took him on top. Good run, wow, listen to that, very scary sounding. What happened there, Rick? That was on five, I don't know if you wanted it on five or not, but that was on five. Yeah, that means, uh, I mean, the Ox is not factory. I don't really care. Round two, here we go. Just keep shutting. Ew! What's your thoughts, buddy? Baby girl showed up to play today. He's hungry. Big facts. So, yeah, I mean, good race overall. Doug said he was having some issues with turning the 
advanced track off. So basically, he would get into the you know throttle. Chatter. It would, yeah, it would yeah. detect some wheel slip. It thinks he's going off road, which he really is, and basically was cutting power. So he definitely was jumping out on this. But uh, yeah, I mean this uh, you know stock tune, stock <laughs> exhaust, and everything stock. on this. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's running good. Got it, Doug. What were your thoughts out there, buddy? Unfortunately, man, I just can't get enough of the computer out of the system here, so I'm looking for more options. But even with the advanced track off, as soon as it comes out and starts hopping, it's just shutting down. So that's kind of like our Fords on race day. There's just same thing happened. Yeah, some advanced. Apparently, you can't just turn it completely off. So she jumps out pretty good, and then it just dies. So there's so. advanced track. This is neural network track. Yeah, right, right. It's right. the next level. So did what I can do, unless I can find some more settings here i don't think i got anything else for them. Well, listen for a stock truck versus a stock truck <laughs> i think it did very very well i mean yeah it's unfortunate you know the power that doesn't really show the power you know difference this is much more powerful than the axis yeah uh, towing it was very obvious but listen this wasn't really about who can tow each other and who can win in a drag race this is about interior comfort reliability and towing comfortability and i think we've got that y'all no doubt about it i'm still looking here but it's all right man what you gonna do what you gonna do bro <laughs> Dooley's. what do you think Dooley life basically couldn't be happier man basically couldn't be happier this is really exciting and you know as always you know we tell you guys how appreciative we are of you continuing to watch and support the channel and again we're in one of those situations where we never would have been able to do this without your support so we feel really good now about you know being able to travel the country much more comfortably much more dependably not having to worry about any issues you know that's that's really important we can't afford to be stuck places and having problems so just huge thank you to you guys once again just can't tell you how appreciative we are other than that, basically very excited to get this thing hooked up to the trailer and start ripping again. That's going to happen soon. Very soon. Yeah, we got some big stuff coming. Big facts. We're actually going to be taking a trip that has both these units in it. So Ooh. a little foreshadowing there. Yep. Um, and then after that, the, uh, the ox will be for sale. So we're going to be cleaning her up here pretty soon. Getting her looking super nice for the next owner. And, uh, you know, she's been a good truck. Had her going on two years now. And, uh... A lot of good memories made in that thing so it'll make someone a nice truck but like you know doug was saying for us it was just time to move on to bigger and better things so appreciate you guys tuning in like doug said we wouldn't be here without you and until the next trip we'll see you later okay see you nail it just nail it just nail it so proud